All right, we've already looked at one algorithm for solving differential equations, and that is if the differential equation is separable. And so now we're going to look at another one. This is an algorithm, and it's called integrating factor. Um, and it's for specific differential equations. I'm going to take you through a list of steps of how to solve it. And at the same time, so let me draw a line down the middle of the paper here. Hopefully I can do the steps on the left and then the solving of a differential equation on the, on the right here. So... Uh, the differential equation that I'm going to solve is y prime uh, minus 3y is equal to t plus e to the negative 2t. So the first step um, when you're solving an integrating factor problem is that you want to write the ODE in a certain form. So you want to write the ODE in the form where uh, dy dt uh, plus some function of t, so that's p of t, not p times t, p of t, a function of t, times y is equal to, I'm not crossing the line, look at that, is equal to some function of t. Now, we already have that done um, on this right-hand side here. So we already have our y prime, that's dy dt. p of t is negative 3. That's a function of t. It doesn't have t in it, but still a function of t, times y. And then on the right-hand side, we have only a uh, function with t's in it. All right, so that's our standard form for this. The first thing that we need to do, but that's already done for us, so let's move on. Um, so the second thing that we want to do is to compute what's called the integrating factor. So let's say we want to find what is called the integrating factor. Now we use the variable mu to find this. It's going to be a function of t. So the integrating factor, the, the function, that we're using for this is called mu. Um, and how we do this, because we know that all solutions to differential equations usually look like some exponential function, so we're going to say that the integrating factor is e to the integral of p of t dt. So that is e to the integral of p of t dt. Um, and in P of t, the sign is included. All right, so over here, our second step is that we're going to find mu of t, which is going to be e to the integral of negative 3 dt. So what we've just done right there, remember the P of t here is the function that's out in front of y. So the whole thing that's out in front of y here, sign included, is negative 3. So that's what we're going to integrate and then raise to an exponent. Uh, so when we do that, the integral of e to the negative 3, or I'm sorry, the integral of negative 3 dt is negative 3t. Now, understandably, there's always a constant in there, and let's talk about that in class. For now, I'm going to tell you just don't put a constant in there. It comes out in the wash later. Um, yeah, let's talk about that one in class. It's a little bit longer than I want to put on this video. So uh, the third step after you find the integrating factor is that you want to multiply the entire ODE by the integrating factor. So multiply the ODE by mu of t. All right, so let's do the step three over here. We have our original equation. We're going to take this whole equation and multiply every single term. So multiply both sides and everything on both sides by the integrating factor. So what we get then is y prime e to the negative 3t minus 3y e to the negative 3t equal to t e to the negative 3t t plus e to the, I've got to combine some e's here, if we have e to the negative 2t times e to the negative 3t, that would be e to the negative 5t.
All right, so there's that step three. Step four, and this one is a weird one, is you are going to rewrite the left-hand side by undoing a product rule. So let's write step four as undo product rule on the left hand side of the equation. So notice that, notice that our standard form has two things on the right hand side. And remember that for the product rule, let's see if I can write this a little bit differently. Um, oh, here we go. So remember that a product rule, if you have say, um, where do I wanna write this? I'll have to erase it later. UV prime is equal to U prime V plus UV prime. Now, if you notice what we have over here, we have a U prime, hey, that's a Y prime, times a V. Then V prime, that's negative three E to the negative three T, that's the derivative of this E, and then times this Y. So we have kind of this side, this right-hand side of a product rule, and what we wanna do is write it like this left-hand side. All right, so let me see if I can actually erase what I wrote in there, great. Um, and so this step four, we are going to take this left-hand side and if we write it as y times e to the negative three t prime, so the derivative of y times e to the negative three t, and then think about now doing the product rule to get to step three. So this is going backwards on the product rule. Um, so if we take the derivative of y, there it is. Then e stays as e. Then y stays as y, we take the derivative of e to the negative three t and we get negative three e to the negative three t. All right, so a little bit weird. You guys are used to doing the product rule but not undoing it and we just undid it there. And that's gonna happen every time. Now also every time, just to point out, you always get y times the integrating factor prime. Always happens. All right, so on the right hand side, that's gonna stay the same. Let me just rewrite it. e to the negative, come on, there we go, 5t. All right, so step five, we're gonna integrate. Integrate both sides. Notice how convenient it is. We have an integral of a derivative. <laughs> Pretty fancy, that's why we did that. So, and that's gonna happen every time too. You have an integral of a derivative, they undo each other and you end up getting y times e to the negative 3t on that left-hand side. And then on the right-hand side here, we need to integrate. So um, this part of the integral for t e to the negative 3t, that's gonna require integration by parts. Um, for me, I use tabular, so I'm gonna do this just a little bit to the side here. So um, with the tabular form of integration by parts, you choose what you would do for u, Take the derivative until you hit zero. You've got e to the negative three t, that's dv, and then you integrate dv. So negative one third e to the negative three t, and then integrate that again. We get one ninth e to the negative three t. Multiply diagonally. The first multiplication gets a plus, and then it's, remember, because integration by parts is u times v minus v du, so that second one is a negative. And so what we get for this integral, I'm gonna write it just a little bit lower so I have room, is negative t times one third, so negative t over three, e to the negative three t, and then looks like that's gonna be a minus one ninth e to the negative three t, and then we still have to integrate this e to the negative 5t. That whole blue part was only for that t e to the negative 3t. If we integrate e to the negative 5t, we get e to the negative 5t all over negative 5. All right. Oh, boy, I almost just forgot something really important. Plus c, because we just integrated. All right, last step. 
because a solution to this differential equation is y, so all we need to do is isolate y on that left-hand side. So that means that we need to divide by mu on both sides. And when we do that, that will get y all by itself. So the sixth step, if I divide by e to the negative 3t, that would be the same as multiplying by e to the positive 3t on both sides. So I'm going to think of it as multiplication by e to the positive 3t. So on the left we just get y. On this first term, that's going to get rid of those e's, so I have negative t over 3. On the second term, it's going to get rid of the e to the negative 3t, so I have negative 1 ninth. On the third term, I have a negative one-fifth, and then an e. Now e to the negative 5t times e to the positive 3t is going to be e to the negative 2t. And then I also have this c, which needs to be multiplied by the integrating factor. Now, I just a word of warning right here. This part, this is a very common mistake to leave off multiplying c by e to the negative 3t. A lot of times we do this little trick where we say c times some other number is another constant. That's not true in this case. e to the 3t is a function, so it actually stays in there. Um, so don't forget to multiply c by your integrating factor at the end. And I just said multiply because I multiplied on this time, but really it's dividing by the integrating factor on both sides.